This is a scene in Botswana. This I'm calling a peaceable kingdom because in a way, although I guess you, you can't say that Africa is certainly, from a human point of view, Africa is not a peaceable kingdom. But uh, from a wildlife point of view, they are uh, working in harmony. And of course, as Woody Allen also said, nature is basically one big restaurant. So everybody's eating somebody else. But uh, in this case, it's a switch that I don't think artists have ever depicted before. The prey are following the predator. Uh, these are uh, an antelope you only find in Southern Africa called a lechwe. Uh, they're, they're kind of a, a bit of a, a wetland antelope. And they are uh, following that lioness to keep her in sight. Uh, I probably compressed the, diff the distance because I didn't want the painting to be any wider than it was and I didn't want the animals to be any smaller than they were. But uh, they're within a safe enough distance. If she wheeled around, they would be out of here. Or if she dashed suddenly to hide in the grass, they'd be out of here. But prey really want to keep the predator in sight. And the predators always give off, I guess they don't know how to be actors or actresses, they always give off uh, a clue by their body language if they're actually hunting. And she's just really tired at the end of the day and she's just trudging along. And they're slowly and carefully walking after her. It was an interesting painting to paint. It's a very large, I think it's about five feet wide. It um, has a lot in it, in addition to the lechwe and the lioness in the background, there's a flock of ibis flying by. You won't be able to see them. There's a hippopotamus in the water at this end. There's a pied kingfisher hovering over the water. I might have, oh, there's an elephant out there. Um, and of course, in the foreground is a lot of what you see in Africa. It's just sort of wide open, flat space, all covered with fecal matter. There's probably elephant poo and uh, maybe lechwe and all kinds of other things scattered there. And that was, uh, uh, as often happens, the hardest part to paint, to have something lying flat like that, but yet look scuffed up and yet look going in perspective, getting smaller and smaller. And it's a pretty large percentage. My usual backlight, which I think is the most handsome, and the, uh, the tall grasses, uh, I was treating a sculpture with very powerful forms to them. It's kind of like a Lauren Harris, maybe.